Yay, the Power Supplies Finished Productions presents... Three zero seven four dash zero four nine seven So you know what I think? What is it? It's got vents on it. And it's definitely some kind of a school equipment. Is it a record player? Mm. Mm. No. Then what is it? A very nice machine indeed. Model CR-3A. All the instructions are printed all on here. Including not just playback and audio active, but even automatic level control and everything. It's this great. It's a Caliphone cassette recorder. And I already said the model. It's a very special special item that was given to me by John Clark aka JRC Studios on YouTube. Okay, so and it's extremely nice and is no doubt now one of my favorite set recorders. It's not battery powered though. It has to run on AC because it's a school set recorder. I would imagine Spatz, Baron Emerson, Collie would probably like this recorder. They seem to have a liking for AV equipment. And I do too. Especially when it comes to tape recorders. Oh yes. This is something I recorded um, on this telephone earlier, not today, but like, you know, a couple weeks ago or so. If you ever saw the video where I played the train data sounds from a Pulse data pack 8-track tape, I tried to make it into a song, like sing along with it. Do you know? By the way, just a note that I can give to everyone and to John especially, I replaced the belt in this. Because before it's had a loose belt, rewind and fast forward, especially rewind or extremely weak. And there was some flutter that was annoying John when he would hear it. He was annoyed by the flutter. Now let's make a recording. With automatic level control on. Um, the, uh, um, Volume is in mid position. I'm using the original mic. The microphone is made in Japan, but the cassette recorder itself is made in the United States. Although I'm thinking the cassette recorder transport is made in Japan, and I'm thinking the transport might be made by Akai. And the reason why it rhymed, 
is because um, I have another cassette recorder made by Caliphone, which is made Japan, which uses the same transport. It has the same door and same buttons. And um, and then I saw on eBay a machine almost identical to that Caliphone cassette recorder I just mentioned, which was by Roberts. And Roberts was a rebrand that was put on some Akai tape recorders. So from all that, I'm thinking the mechanical section in this recorder is manufactured by Akai. The electronics and the case and everything, though, are definitely made in the United States. Now the um, level can be adjusted even when it's automatic. You can adjust the sensitivity. So now it's set all the way up and the meter goes more with the sound. And this thing can get pretty pretty good on sensitivity. But for different mics, the sensitivity is different. If you have a high impedance microphone, the sensitivity is increased. Now let's see how this sounds. By the way, first let's put on manual. Pull the volume control up and it's on, um, never mind, it's audio active. Pull the tone control up and it's on manual level control. And you can see the me, the uh, UV meter. I said it. I just said it. It's VU. I said UV. I used to always say UV and then I was correcting and saying VU and now I went back to UV. Meter. Okay. Okay, let's see how this sounds. By the way, it has an electrical pause. long recording. Oh, it was about two minutes and something seconds according to the little counter. Now some might may think that it's impossible. How are you going to get eight minutes and seconds of a cassette tape counter if it just takes it off one cassette spool? But on this kind, it actually uses two belts and takes it off of each spool. If you look in there, you'll notice it has a counter belt to counter belt going one way and another counter belt going the other way taking it off each spool and I think somehow it takes I guess it takes the difference in speeds between each spool and therefore gives a constant velocity to the counter so it's very neat um, the uh, um, volume is in mid position I'm using the original mic the microphone's made in Japan, but the cassette recorder itself is made in the United States. Four and same buttons. And um, yeah, I don't want to play the whole thing back again. Just get an idea of how the recording quality is. And oh yes, the recording quality on this is absolutely fantabulous. Well, I was at John Clark's. I played some on the vibraphone, as I call it. It may or may not be the actual term for it. I have a, a short video of that that John filmed me playing some of when I played it, but I also recorded some playing of it on the caliphone while I was there. So let's see how, how this sounds. 